Hey everybody, it's Cindy here and it's Friday and I wanted to let you know that in case you didn't see it, my video from yesterday about the empty nest syndrome would not upload. Couldn't get it online yesterday, but I was able to get it up just a little bit ago on my Facebook fan page. So that is available now. It's a longer one. It's about 24 minutes long but I try to cover some of the main issues that you might face or people you know might be facing with the empty nest syndrome and invite you to give it a, a look and share it with others who, um, you know, might, might need some direction with this. So for today, for Friday, I'm going to just do, I'm going to lighten up a little bit. Um, we've had some heavy topics this week and about healing our child within and about dealing with the buttons of ours that get pushed. So those videos are always available on my Facebook fan page, Cindy D. Whitmer. So please go there anytime and check anything out that might be helpful. There's months of videos there now and, and send your friends that might be uh, could be helped by something or your family. There's many topics covered now. And my website is cindydwhitmer.com also. And there's other, there's are some written resources there uh, that are free as well. So, and that's also where you can find out how to work with me directly if you would like to. So to bring us into the weekend, I'm going to draw an I Can Do It card. I love this deck. It's by Louise Hay, who's someone I admire, who's been in the field, um, you know, of personal development for years. She's like in her 90s now, if you can believe it. So I'm just going to pick one random out of the pile here, see what it says and comment on it just to, to share a little thought for the weekend. It says, today is a delightful day. Money comes to me in expected and unexpected ways. Oh my gosh, you know what? I literally drew this card last time I did this. I did this box and this is a 60 card deck. I think I'm going to draw another one. That is so weird. That's very weird. Okay, let's try another one. I can't believe it. I've only used this deck one other time on a video. And that is the exact one I drew. Wow. Okay. Ah, this one says, I release all resistance to expressing my creativity fully. I release all resistance to expressing my creativity fully. And on the back it says, ideas come to me easily and effortlessly. Hmm, nice. I release all resistance to expressing my creativity fully. Okay, so anytime, you know, we re re resist something, it persists. So when you fight against something, it actually gives it more power and you less power gives it. And so we want to release resistance of anything that we don't want in our lives, you know? So, um, this particular card is talking about creativity. Uh, people who study, um, the soul and the spirit and things like that say that we are all creative human beings. Like all human beings are meant to create in some form. And some of you are doing that in the form of building houses or decorating houses. Some of you are artists. Some of you are wonderful teachers and create lesson plans. Some of you are doctors and create treatment plans. Um, some of you, so creativity isn't just colors and painting and sculpting and writing and it's all forms of building something or inventing something or navigating something, um, to help, uh, and provide a service in some way or to enjoy yourself, to just express yourself, enjoy yourself. So it, and, and if we're not being creative in some way, that there is research that indicates that we are less happy, less, less likely to be happy, less likely to be successful, less likely to be calm people. So creativity, because it's a natural part of being human, um, if we don't let ourselves express it in some way, then we're kind of denying a part of ourselves is the philosophy behind all of that. So, so definitely I invite you to sometime this weekend, get creative in some way, even if it's just, you know, doodling on a notepad 
or if it's, um, you know, once in a while I, I, I scratch off some poetry on a scrap of paper, you know, I put words together, um, <clears throat> anything at all. Um, that uh, even reading a poem might feel like a creative expression, um, anything like that. So ask yourself, how can I be creative this weekend? What can I do that's fun? It may be rearranging a drawer, rearranging your closet. That's another form of creativity people enjoy and can benefit from. Help you simplify your life a little bit. Um, watch a great movie. Um, anything like that. So... Um, I really encourage you to be creative this weekend, enjoy yourselves, do something fun and light, and give yourself a break, and uh, I will talk to you again soon. Bye.